Hello, in this video we are going to find a limit. So we're going to find the limit as n approaches infinity of n over the square root of n squared plus 1. Okay, and we're just going to try to uh, find the answer uh, to, to uh, this problem. So there's a bunch of different ways um, perhaps that we can think about this problem. First, let me um, just show you uh, one way to think about it. So one way. So one way to think about this is that, you know, n is approaching infinity, so n is growing without bound. So you want to ask yourself, what is happening to this creature, right? Well, when n is growing without bound, the one is irrelevant. So the, the one doesn't matter. And again, n is continuing to grow, but at this point, we can just use some basic mathematics, right? And we know that this is true. But n is growing, so it's certainly positive, right? So this is going to be equal to 1. So that's, that's, that's one way to do it, um, one, one, one way to think about it. Is that the best way? Uh, I don't know. Is it the worst way? I know it's just one way. Another way. Let's, let's try to take a more algebraic approach. We're going to look at the limit as n goes to infinity of this, what did I call it earlier, creature. And to involve any type of algebraic manipulation means involving something that's going to let us get inside of this square root that you see here, right? So to, to enter the square root, we're going to need to use some trickery. We're going to multiply by 1. in a clever way. See how small that is? I don't think I could possibly write any smaller. Well, my camera will not zoom in more than this, so I must write really, really small. So this is equal to, let me zoom out a little bit more, the limit as n approaches infinity. So this is going to be n over, um, actually, we know that in this case, we know that in this case, uh, because n is approaching infinity, we know that the square root of n squared is equal to n, right? Because, because n is big and it's positive. So, so I can easily put an n here. I'm just being abusive, right? It's a video. So, <laughs> so you see what's going to happen now, right? And then this, this, this guy is going to come underneath, but I can put him inside now. Right, because I have two square roots. You see that? Now it's in a big square root. Isn't that cool? So boom, here we go. Yes. Yes. One over, and then it's n squared over n squared. Plus, and then one over n squared. Really cool, right? So this is probably like if you were like in a math classroom, and you were, you know, taking a test or, you know, this would be a really good way to show your work, right? So this would be equal to, and then now you drop the limit sign, right? Because you take the limit, what is, what is this going to approach? It's going to approach zero, right? Boom! Let's be pro about it. Let's even put a box with an X, like, like it's a proof or something. That's another way to do it, right? Algebraic argument, intuitive argument. Algebraic argument. What do you think is better? Leave a comment. What do you find more useful as a person who studies mathematics? Um, I always have leaned on algebraic methods. And it took me a long time to really try to focus more on the intuition. So I think the intuition is great. Um, but yeah, because you know, yeah. So that's, that, those are my thoughts. Kind of a fun problem, uh, just a very basic limit, um, not hard. You could prove this using um, the definition of a limit. I, I don't know if I'm up for it at this very, very moment in this video right now to jump into that. It's kind of long. It's, you know, we could probably figure it out, but it might take some time. But yeah, we could do it. Oh, we totally could do it. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I should try that. So anyways, subscribe, like, share, all that stuff. Check out... Uh, my courses, they're on Udemy, which is a reputable place to have courses. But if you get them, use my website, freemathvids.com. Use the links from there or mathsorcerer.com or 
from the description of any of these videos. And those links will take you to different courses, right? Um, different math courses that I have on Udemy. I've lowered the prices, so when you use those links, it helps me greatly. Uh, and I've lowered the prices, so it helps you. So, yeah. Keep doing mathematics.